I've got some key words for you to consider. Here's the first one. Appreciation. That's number one. First of all is to appreciate what you already have. Appreciation is unique. It has a sense of opening us up to even more if we appreciate, first of all, what we've already got. Democracy, freedom, free enterprise. To appreciate all of that, to appreciate our chance, to appreciate our opportunity, uh, to appreciate all that it took to bring us to this point. That sense of appreciation makes us unique. It makes us attractive in the marketplace. You know, it's easy not to appreciate. It's easy to sit down uh, to have your breakfast and, and not think about how did the salt get on my table. A sense of appreciation. Just the salt that I so casually salt my uh, eggs with in the morning, I'm telling you. If I thought about it for a while, I wonder where this salt came from. How many hands did it pass through by the time it reached my table? You know, who bent their back and mined it out of the salt mine? Uh, who packaged it and who shipped it? And how many phases did it go through before it finally conveniently reached my table and I pick it up so casually and salt my eggs? That sense of awe and appreciation, there's nothing like it. It makes you attractive to have the appreciation of what's around you, the appreciation of the contribution of other people, to appreciate all that it takes for each of us to be successful. You cannot succeed by yourself. You know, you can't make your fortune all alone. It takes many, many hands, many voices, and many people to support one success story. So, appreciation. I've had a new sense of appreciation for my parents who gave me my incredible start. I was an only child. They took extra time. It was unbelievable. Uh, I feel the effect of that now. As I've gone through all kinds of challenges as well as opportunities in my life, I still feel that anchor that holds me from the things they taught me, from the ideas they shared with me, the fact that they cared, the fact that they gave me that incredible foundation. It serves me today. That gives us a good taste to appreciate what we have. What it does, it, it, it opens up the channel. It makes us ready to receive even more. New ideas now can come flowing in if the person has appreciated what's already there that's given them the support, made them as successful as they are at the moment. So appreciation. Second is comprehension. The ability to understand what we've got in our hand. That is so vitally important. Some people never recognize what they've got in their hand. And we know that by the evidence because they do so little with it. If they knew what they had, if they knew the power of what has come their way, if they knew what they had in, 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 in their hands, in their position, it would change their whole life. It would, first of all, alter their attitude. Second, it would give them a vision of the future that they never had before. Just a sense, a recognition, a comprehension, an understanding. And all of us have the ability to do that, to understand and comprehend what we've got. Just think about all of the parts of this opportunity the people, the product, the opportunity, uh, all of the list of things that you've got now in your hands to use as the ways and means to transform your life and build your future. You know, a lot of people have dreams, but they dare not dream too much because they don't have the ways and they don't have the means. They don't have the opportunity. They don't have the tools at their disposal. They don't have the influence. They don't have the training. They don't have the teaching. They don't go to classes like we do. They don't have the benefit of other people's experience like we have. When we look at all of that, uh, we ought to really try our best to comprehend what all we've got. Because if we truly see what we've got in our hands, we'll probably multiply what we can do with it in the future by two, by three, by five, by 10. So that's a key word for developing leadership, comprehension. Here's the next word, opportunity. You've got to be able to see opportunity, opportunity all around you, opportunity of where you are, opportunity of the people who can use the products that, that you've got, who can use your opportunity, uh, use your opportunity in, in terms of marketing, seeing the opportunity. If we're blind to the opportunity, it doesn't matter how valuable the products are and it doesn't matter how valuable the system is. If you can't see the opportunity, 
It all gathers dust. It all goes to waste. You've got to see opportunity in every person you meet. That could be another person. That could be another Mark Hughes. Uh, that could be another future president's team member. Learn to see the opportunity that's right around you. It's easy to get busy and sort of blinded and uh, just walk along and not see what's possible and what's available. The reason I'm here today is because I saw the opportunity, an opportunity to expand my vision, an opportunity to refine my skills, an opportunity to meet people I'd never met before, an opportunity to go places I'd never gone before, an opportunity to become valuable to an institution, an opportunity to enhance my own uh, powers of development so that I could serve other people. I recognize this opportunity. It's why I'm here today. It's why I'm talking to you today. If I hadn't have seen the opportunity, I'd have passed, been doing something else, probably mediocre. But here I am in a very splendid position, an unusual position, having an opportunity to use my experience and influence and skills to touch the lives in the future of millions of people. I saw the opportunity. I took advantage of it. And I want you to be able to do that too, be able to see the opportunity. Now here's what's next. And that is integrity. Integrity means those inner qualities that you do not compromise. The inner qualities that keeps you steady when sometimes everything around you is falling apart. The integrity that helps you to maintain character, all of those qualities that give you a chance to be better than you are at the moment on into the future. Integrity within yourself, integrity within the way that you do business, integrity within the way that you operate and conduct the business of the day. That's vitally important in the development of leadership. Next is morality. There's a right way and a wrong way. Civilization is simply a matter of suppressing that dark side of our nature and appealing to the bright, positive side of our nature. And that becomes sort of a moral code, not to yield to the temptation of doing ill to someone else, but rather appealing to the high side of our nature. Uh, President Lincoln, who was one of the presidents of America said, hopefully we will listen to the better angel of our nature that appeals to the high side, that says, sure enough, there is something to be said for morality, the right and the wrong. But let us constantly work toward developing ourselves on the moral side of doing what's right. And one of the best teachers of the morality is your own conscience. That little small voice inside that tells you you've crossed the line, that tells you this wouldn't be the right words to you. Uh, this would not be for the betterment. This would not be win-win. Uh, this is going to destroy. This is not going to develop. To listen to that inner voice so that we can stay on moral course. It's the challenge Mark has, it's the challenge the company has, it's the challenge all of us has to stay on the moral course of doing it right. The morality of the marketing system. Doing it right, very important. There's no need to compromise that position and be tempted to do it wrong. Here's another one. People. One of the most important words in the vocabulary of leadership is people. Here's what's important to understand. People is where the fortune is. In fact, you could just interchange the two words, fortune, people. People, fortune. The fortune is not in digging gold out of the earth because gold all by itself has no value. Nothing has a value unless a human being gives it value. What value is gold? You can't eat it. Uh, what value is everything else unless human beings give it value? To understand that people is where the fortune is. Developing customers who are people, developing distributors who are people. I talked to a banker one time and he said, I'm in the banking business. And I said, well, does a corporation borrow money from you? You know, do the banks and the, and, and the uh, offices and the office chairs and the, the systems of the corporation borrow the money? And he said, no, someone from the company comes and fills out a loan and I loan money to the company. Then I said, really what you're in is the people business. You're not in the money business or the banking business, you're in the people business. And so it's true with all of us. We're in the people business. A unique sense of appreciation. When I first saw this kind of marketing at age 25, 
I said to myself, if, if it's unlimited, the people I can introduce to the business, then I shall become wealthy. Because something told me, and I didn't have the full education back then, but something told me that if I found a way to provide benefit for someone else, I could earn money. Something told me, I must have gotten it from my parents, some of my early training that said, people is where the fortune is. So that's where you have to take great care in your business. Yes, take care of your money. Yes, take care of your system. Take care of the setup. Take care of the, of the meetings. Take care of all the details. But here's what you've got to do if you really want to make a fortune. Take care of your people. Because people is where the fortune is. If you help them grow, they'll help you grow. If you develop them under you, they will lift you up. Uh, you can lift up sales and it'll fall back down. You can lift up volume and it'll fall back down. Lift up the people and you won't fall down. You'll have the foundation. There you'll be ready for the future.